Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda Quintana here coming to you live from the Beehive. Um, and my blog name, of course, is QBsQuest.com. Today is Casing Tuesday, where we take a card out of one of the Stampin' Up! catalogs and we case it. And casing is just a fancy acronym for copy and share everything. So we take that card and we copy it, but in doing so, we often change things. So we'll change the color scheme, we'll change the stamp set, or if you like the card as it is and you just wanna try the card, making the card just the way it is in the catalog, go for it, just do it like that. When we do these cards, we learn from them, and that is the cool thing, and I learn from it too. So even though I've been stamping for a long time, it is great to get out of your comfort zone and try a different layout, try a different color scheme. So it's all about learning, and because I'm learning, I want you to be able to learn too. So you can take that same card, use your supplies and create it, and then you can share it on our Facebook group. And if you look in the description of this recording, you will see a link to our Facebook group. If you're not already on there, go ahead and click on there and ask to join and we will approve you and then you can share your card. We have like one, a card every week so you can go back and do our older ones too but you can um, share the card and just jump right in with that current week's challenge and, and do it and then we can see what you've done and we can comment on it and it's um, you don't have to be perfect. I, I want to encourage you that even if you like, I made this card, I don't feel it's good enough. Well, guess what? We all started somewhere and we all felt like our card wasn't good enough. I, I remember the first card I ever posted online. I thought, you know, it took me a long time before I felt like I could post something online. Um, but the thing is, when you post something, you know, you're sharing it and you can learn from it and you will continue to get better but you need to start somewhere you need to start sharing your cards at some point and and so may as well do it in this forum um, we are kind people we we just we want to you know have a happy positive forum where we can learn and so that's what casing Tuesday is about um, one other thing I need to tell you guys about I will be gone um, for the next two Tuesdays. I uh, actually, next Tuesday, I fly out of Boston and I'm going to go visit my parents in Canada. Um, as some of you know, my dad had a stroke last year and he's doing really, really well. And uh, But I wanna go and visit them and spend some time with them. Um, they're thinking about moving soon, not out of the, the city where they live, but moving within their city. And I'm going to help them a little bit, um, maybe with some of the things that um, they can no longer do. So I will be gone for a week, but I'm flying on both Tuesdays. So it's going to be virtually impossible for me to do a Facebook Live. One, I don't have my crafting stuff right there with me. And um, two, I will be on a plane um, during both of my regular segments. So I have, I will still be doing my Casing Tuesday card. I will still have a blog post. Um, if I have time, I'll do a video for it. Um, if not, I will just pick back up in three weeks. And I know that seems like a long time away and I hate to do that and I don't even choose midweek is a good time to fly so that's why I kind of picked leaving on a on a weekday and so uh, it just so happens both Tuesdays I'm I'll be in the air during that time so um, but anyway um, I hope that you'll pick up back with me in in three weeks when when I'm back uh, doing my Facebook lives again and don't stop casing those cards just because I'm not not here um, I'll still be posting my cards uh, on my blog and on the Facebook group so uh, I will still have cards that I'm posting so I want to see yours too I can I can do that I might not be able to do the live video but I can definitely check in on and see your cards so please go ahead and post I love to see them so um, and I know Catalina does too so anyway I've blabbed way 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 too much but let's get started with this uh, card this week so let me turn you around and if you get motion sick just close your eyes for a moment while I do this and let me turn you around where's my little turnaround button there it is. okay 
Let's see, how does that look? Just get it set up. All right, I think that is pretty good. So the cardboard casing is out of the holiday catalog and it's on page three. And it's this little card right here. And it looks kind of, it blends into the background. You barely even notice it, but I noticed it. I like it because it's a really nice, simple layout. It's got a big focal point and a little tiny greeting um, down here. Or, you know, you could put a greeting in the section and a little um, embellishment down in here. There's lots of different things you could do with this card. There is one thing you might not notice. If you look closely, this white layer is backed up with a layer of vellum. So there is an extra layer of cardstock. You can either, you know, you don't have to put in another layer in between the card base, but it is there if you want to add a little bit more to the card. So that is the card. This is the card that I made. It is quite a bit fancier than the card in the catalog. Um, it does have that little background layer. You can see that little garden green layer back behind there. I love the Smitten Mittens uh, bundle. It's so cute. It, it's kind of funny though. It's been really hot here this week. And so like mittens like really should be the last thing on my mind. But I love the little mittens. They're so cute. So I had to I had to use them. And they fit in my, my focal point. And isn't this greeting cute? Smitten with a little heart on the, the eye. I love that. So I, I had to use it. And um, I used, uh, it's called the Quilted... Quilted Christmas Designer Series paper. And this uh, paper actually was what inspired my color choices. It has garden green, pool party, and lemon lime twist in it. And most of the rest of the paper in that pack is like reds and greens. It looks really Christmassy, but this one looked a little bit more wintry. So that's why I chose it. So let's get this set up so we can show you how I made this one. This is the bundle, of course. It's a Smitten Mittens bundle. You get the Smitten Mittens stamp set and this is called the Mini Mittens Framelits. And they are just a fun collection of um, stamps and dies. Um, I did this card yesterday, um, which is kind of cute. It's using the smaller mittens and a little bit of that pool party twine. And then I have one more project for you later this week. And it's a 3D project, so you're going to want to check back later in the week for that one. Um, and so th that's the bundle. And remember, if you purchase these together as a bundle, you can save 10%. That's why I always mention it, even though sometimes I'm just using the stamp set and sometimes I'm just using the die. Um, it's nice to have the bundle because they do coordinate together. All right, let's start off with the die cutting because there's quite a bit of die cutting um, that needs to go on. Actually, well, not a lot, but it looks like a lot of die cutting. Let's get that out of the way first. So you'll need your Big Shot for that. And you'll need, I've got, I like to use my magnetic platform because the dies don't move around as much. I've got some scrap pieces of pool party on here because we need to cut two of the solid mittens and we need to cut two of these um, die, die cut mittens with all the little uh, chads out of it. So what I'm going to do, um, it actually comes with two mittens, you know, so that's kind of cool. One going one way and the, one, the other one going the other way. And then we've got this one right here that provides all of the detail. But you kind of need to back it up with a solid mitten. Otherwise, it looks like your mitten is very holy, full of holes. So I'll just run this through real quick. And sometimes with the real detail ones, I like to go through, I go like to go back through uh, because it helps to make sure all the little pieces are cut. So for the solid ones, you don't really need to do that, but for the detail one, you do. So then you get all of these pieces. You get your two solids and you get your detail one right here. So, you know, it's always nice to get the die brush involved to get those out. So, um, so what you can do, you can... First of all, just poke your cardstock piece out like that. 
And then you can use your dye brush to get rid of the chads in here. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna go all over my work surface. But you can take the dye brush now. Oh, it's got stuff sticking everywhere, don't I? All right. Ah! Okay, you know, this is my paper clip that I use to um, uh, clear the nozzles of my glue. So it's it's sticking to things today. And then I just do this with my dye brush. I'm just going very, very lightly because you don't want to, you know, ruin the, the actual design. So that's how you get those little chads out there. It's nice to have that dye brush to help us along. So rather than show you how to do this one twice, I did actually cut another um, mitten right away so that we could, um, you wouldn't have to watch me do that twice because you'd have to run that one through twice. So one of these mittens is going to have the back side. So you're gonna do that. And then this one is the front side. So, but I wanted to have um, a different color down here. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do next. So I've got these little pieces of Lemon Lime Twist, and these ones I cut to one and three eighths by half an inch. And then I'm just gonna take my glue, and on this one, let's get the glue going. Just gonna put a little bit of glue right above those and below those X's. And then I'm just gonna slide this piece centered over top like that and then I can just um, go around the frame of the mitten and then over top of the lemon lime and then I can take this and just line it up because you see like if you if you didn't back this up it, it you could see right through the holes and that just wouldn't look very good so that's the first one and then this one, I need to put it on, let's just make sure I put it on the right side so it's gonna go like that. So I need to put it on this side and glue here, glue here, glue here and there. And take this little piece, put it on here, like that. And then you just do the same thing. You just put glue all the way around on the thumb and on this piece. And then you take it and you line it up and that's how I made the mittens and you know it's a really simple design I mean you could actually do different um, you know colors on the different stripes but I just wanted it to be like you know simple and pretty and um, you know just a couple of tone on tone colors so then we've got our little greeting layer and this, uh, where I'm gonna stamp smitten, um, this greeting layer is one and five eighths inches by an inch. And I'm going to need my pull party ink pad. And I'm going to need my little smitten stamp. And just ink that up. And this one's just stamped centered on this piece. And then, um, oh, and then I'm going to need a little bow. Um, this bow is using the pool party twine. I've already tied one, um, so it ties in nicely. So those are some of the pieces. And then you're going to need your card base. I like to do the tent fold. So this is an 11 inch by four and a quarter inch piece of thick whisper white cardstock scored in half at the five and a half inch mark. I fold it and then, you know, I like to use my bone folder to smooth down the fold and get it nice and flat. Then I have a layer of that designer series paper, the Quilted Christmas. And I played with this a little bit because I wanted it centered, the pattern centered. So I did kind of, um, you know, play with it a bit. This one I cut um, just an eighth inch shorter on each side than the card front. So this one is four and one eighths by five and three eighths inches. So I can just take just a little bit of glue. I don't want too much glue on here because it's a light layer. And then I'm just gonna add that to my card front. So you can just see there's just a tiniest bit of white peeking out 
on all four sides. You can see that. And then I'm going to take, okay, these two layers need to come together like this. I'm looking at my sample because um, if you look at the sample or if you look at the original one, you can kind of see how they did it and you can kind of mimic that or you can do it your own way. But I'm just going to take a little bit of the Tombow and add that to the front. And I haven't told you what layer sizes these are. That's not very good of me. I will tell you right away. But if I ever forget, or if you um, want to go back and look, I always have the measurements on my block. But this top whisper white layer is a three inches by four and three quarter inches. Then this layer behind it, it's garden green, and it's three and one eighth inches by four and three quarter inches. So. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it to the front. So just a little bit more glue. And then just kind of add it to a little bit closer to the right side because we have to get our greeting on there. Let me, that looks good. Okay, then for the mittens, I want this top one up here. So let's do that and add it right here. This mitten right here, I actually popped it up on dimensionals. So you can, I don't know how many you want to put on there. I'd say probably at least four dimensionals. Add those on. Just to pop up the mitten just a little bit so it has just a little bit more depth to it. And I'm trying to see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we've got our little smitten greeting. Put some Tombow on it back here. And just pop it right over here. Like that. And then I'm going to need a glue dot for my little bow. And you know what I like to do with that? I've probably seen you, me do it on a different video but there's a little glue dot on here they get squished and they get to be kind of big like this one's like a quarter inch in diameter so what I do is I kind of just whirl it around on the end of my paper piercing tool and I make it into a little blob instead of a dot <laughs> I call them I should call them glue blobs instead of glue dots but anyway then I'll stick this down here at the corner of my greeting you can kind of see my glue blob and then I'll take my knot, <clears throat> my twine, and just jam it right in there. And there's the card. Easy peasy. And uh, I like it because it's got some different colors. I, I love the pool party, but you don't always put blue with green. And the lemon lime twist, you know, that's one of our current in colors. It's uh, a hot color. It's just a little bit of a pop. You can see there's a little bit of lemon lime twist in the paper in the background, so it ties it all in. And there's the card. It's not very hard to make at all. So, um, I want to say hello to everyone. I know, I know, like I don't say hello on an individual basis anymore. Let me turn you guys around. Ah, there we go. I don't say hello to everyone individually anymore because it's kind of distracting when people pop on and I'm saying hello to everyone and there's a lot of people that watch this as a recording and I don't want that to detract from the video so I want to say hello and I really appreciate people that join live because it makes me feel like I'm not just here alone in my craft room so thank you so much I'm going to scroll up right now and I'm going to see if there's any questions or if you have any questions right now and if you want to type them in quickly I'll I'll see if I can uh, answer them for you. Um, oh, we've got a lot of my special friends that always join me every week are here. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that. Um, oh, and we have people from Denmark. I love that. I love that uh, 
we have um, people joining us from around the world. I I feel like I've, I'm kind of a global family too. I know you think, oh, Brenda, she lives in the U.S., but, um, you know, my, I grew up in Canada. My parents were German. They, they immigrated from uh, Germany to Canada. And my husband brings a whole other international perspective to the mix too. So I've, I've got a, um, a global upbringing, I think. And, uh, so I, I love it when I see different countries, different states, you know, uh, it makes me smile. So I'm so glad. Um, and someone says they're going to join me after work. Okay, well, I don't see any questions, but if you ever do have a question, please post it live or post it in the comments afterwards, and I will try to get back in there and, and answer them for you. Um, so a couple of things, just a reminder, uh, if you need um, the supply list for my cards, if you need the measurements for my cards, please go to qbsquest.com and I have a visual list so you can see all the supplies that I use to make them. And I have a quick reference section with all the measurements for my cards. Um, this video will eventually find its way onto YouTube and I will post it afterwards. It will be a recording afterwards on Facebook. And if you want to join the Casing Tuesday Facebook group, you will go into the description and click on the link and ask to join and we will approve you as soon as possible. And I would love to see your cards. I know some of you post every week and I really love to see those. So uh, go in there, make a card. You don't have to do it today. Um, it's kind of fun if you can do it the week of though, because that way like everyone's kind of working on the same card at the same time so that's kind of cool so uh we'd love to see your cards all week and i will be back here in three weeks and um but please continue to post while i'm gone and i will um post my card just not doing the facebook live uh while i'm i'm in canada so have a great week i hope the weather is not too hot or cold wherever you are and um yeah have a great week and we'll see you in a few. Bye.